Hello guys, I'm back and welcome to another game of Legion TD. So for this game, this will be the 10.78 version and we are going to start off with a lot of death here. Yeah, why not? I might lumbering up quickly. Although I could be maybe the Lord of if if we get a better reroll then I might reroll that. I do know that from this version Blood Raiders do get a buff. The crit chances has been increased. All that stuff. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Mm, I think Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for sprites instead to be prepared against four and five. That's all that for now. Read some of these. Maybe just two. I'm quite concerned that I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of sprites. So we're not gonna have that one upgraded for now. And we are instead going to place two more of them, or even three more of them, right around here. I guess this is good. I'm still confident to be able to challenge this one though, so let's go ahead and do so. Let's test out this, test out this strength. I, I know for a fact that the Blood Raiders are much stronger than they used to be here. So let's see if it's enough. I'm gonna wait for um, 30 lumber so that we can upgrade our lumberjack. And then we got one more left here. For the next round, it doesn't look like it's worth getting any two of these for now. Maybe yeah, I might skip out on the next round and I'm just gonna instead upgrade my sprites here. But that, we're looking quite strong against round one. Not even losing a single blood, blood raider. Yeah, we lost one, but it's only one. This guy has two fighter operations, which I don't think is very strong, especially for their cost. Good thing though that he has a Skeletor, and so he was able to survive this round. For the next round, I believe he will be in trouble. Especially because the operations will not be able to one-shot the Murlocs. My opponents, our opponents are struggling quite a bit here. It does look like someone from them will be leaking. I guess it's a good time to keep going for more lumber. Let's see what they have. Aquas. Mm. No, I thought the Elo, Elo here is going to be reset, but it's not yet currently. Maybe in the 11th version it will. This round I do want to upgrade my sprites. Oops. I should have just uh, gone for one more wisp there, I believe, in order to have been able to afford this blood raider. And since we're not able to get it, I was gonna go for two of these guys instead. I'll place them a little bit more in front as well. I believe we are still strong enough to challenge this round. This is a misplaced unit, by the way. These are misplaced units, but it's okay. It might, the game might not get to the point where in I'd be too concerned about their positioning here. Now, regarding this version, I know for a fact that a lot of tier 1 and tier 2 units have been upgraded. Frenzy Ghouls, um, Blood Wolves, and Blood Raiders have been upgraded. Gate Guards and Heartbringers have also been uh, buffed. What else? Um, Ogre Bashers, the chances of them bashing have been increased, they also have more good points now. Um, Soul Hero has increased range, basically you can just check them out in the patch note. I know it's hard to get in touch with that when you're not in the Discord server. Well, Blood Raiders are feel, uh, I feel like they're really powerful right now, being able to hold very strongly, even if I was concerned that I lumbered up a little bit too hard. Although arguably, this is an easy mode, so we're able to hold 
Like good. And zero. We're not gonna have offensive if he's not getting lumber. For this next round, I feel like I could go for some archers here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a couple of archers. Only three is enough, and then I'm just gonna get some more lumber. Pick lumber up. A very low lumber. The enemies are lumbering, and so it is to their advantage that they're also digging because that means they would have a harder send. I don't think they'll be sending on four as well. I mean, still challenge four. Oh, surprisingly, this guy was able to hold. So, I guess good build from him. Not sure if uh, Thrall has been upgraded here. But I know for sure that on the 11th version of Deacon TD, it has been buffed. Well, Thrall has been doing wonders for his team here. So the operations are able to one-shot the Scorpions because Thrall is able to reduce the health to all creeps. I did struggle quite some here, but still ultimately fine. Now have the chance to go for the skeletal mages, which I still, well, which, in which case I will place merely a skeleton warrior in. A skeleton? Yeah, a skeleton warrior, a bone warrior, and will not have been updated yet. This looks like they're prepared for for round five and six here. Read that, I want to challenge definitely. With these get one here, get another one here, maybe one here, one more here in the middle. I get one more wisp. Now, after 10 2, I'm gonna stay 10 2 until they send. Oh, this has a lot of archers. So in case they send 5, it's not going to be a problem. This round, I believe we're also strong against it. Given that this guy has 4 violets. I think I'm the only one person who will challenge this one though. Let's see how well I'm going to do. We're going to be fine. Let's say 10-2. Well, they send. I also feel like I could push for some more here. No, I'm going to say 10-3. I mean, I'm gonna lumber up to 10 3. I'm not concerned about leaking next round because my guy has a lot of archers and so he definitely can't stretch out with every descent. I just got upgraded to Grave Keepers, the aura doesn't stack, and so he is finally going to leak with um, bad units. Okay, also, good thing that they didn't send here. Because I would have leaked here. For the next round, we are definitely not gonna challenge that one though. Should push for more lumber. This guy is just first leak. They see the archers now, and so it might, this might deter them from sending. Um, with that then I am going to prepare against round 6 still have to upgrade these guys though and maybe a dark mage on the back lines here now this round we're not going to challenge Skill. I think 
challenged here. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe they're not gonna send them anyway. guy here who really came. really is not kind of thing I'll be leaking from here on out Considering that they will send next round, this round I should say, I'm gonna go for a pyro. I'm gonna go for a witch doctor. I kinda think that I do. Hmm, or is it better to just get this bone warrior upgraded here? Now let's go for this one. Let's get challenged. Done. Nearly saying, but at least he has high value. Let's go challenge two, which isn't very good. So a bit of units then the shot wave would be very effective. They might resend on nine. Shockwave here. I think they still could potentially resend next. I think it's okay to throw one more shockwave though. Maybe we should have upgraded some more king here. Keep 
speaking. If they send next, then I'd be very happy. But I don't think they will. They understand that we're strong against Pierce. I'm still not gonna challenge next round though. With this much time, it's very likely that they could send. Um, I'm thinking of going for. So, yeah, maybe it's not gonna be so bad. Job done. Hmm, maybe a trio battle would be better. Now I'm gonna go for the, this one, and then upgrade my back lines here definitely. Buff them up. We're hoping to catch one more send from our enemies. And then we can lumber up. I don't have. I, I don't want to lumber up here so far. So if they have been sending for ten, then we'd definitely be in trouble. They're sending. Oh, they're not. Next round, I'm just gonna go for the RS here. Maybe even go for this whole villain. Small against 9 and 10. Not particularly for 8, but at least it has medium armor. Well, it's not for this guy. for a captain here, it's medium armor after all. I don't have enough gold for this one. Mm, maybe... Yeah, let's just go for the Dark Mage upgrade here. If they send next, then I think I'd be able to catch most of it. I'll be very strong next round, I believe. Mostly heavy armor. This guy still CCs. Maybe one CC is enough. This guy might be inclined to CC this one as well. Okay. Let's end here. That's good. Quite a little, a little bit. For the next round, I think my allies are gonna leak hard. All three of them. So we're still gonna stay 10 4. I definitely need the life to aura for more survivability. I'm also considering going for this guy, the, the Cavaliers. This guy may potentially hold this one at least. Has a lot of medium armor. This one's an un 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 unarmored. This guy's gonna live. Okay, it's a good focus. He's gonna live through it. Nice. It's good. Okay, now I'm gonna. I, I might still reach 7k value here. I'm in 6k. Well, you. I guess that's great. Let me place my family here. Also considering going for a hero. Should we? Yeah, I think that's the best we can go for. For now. I'm gonna go for a hero. Maybe here is a good placement. What do we wanna get though? Attack speed aura?
Mm. The armor. Yeah, this, this guy's dumb for doing this. Goes to show. Goes to show. We're definitely sending here is not even strong against this round. Prepared for 10. Lagging, but I know for sure that I'm gonna be able to hold this. It's leaking, but at least it's not too big. So I'm gonna be able to clear a little bit more here. So it's leaking big. Clear a couple at least we can one shock wave these chariots. Good thing we have a chosen a tree of life, it gives a more sustain. I'm trying to get some number training here, but we may resend. So, clear quite a bit, and we're gonna clear most of the chariots with one shot wave. Heal it looks like. Had he not CC'd there though, then we would have been able to save the heal. I guess we need this time anyway to send a lot bigger. And I feel like we are we can we are better suited to hold 10 than them. They could still potentially send 10, but I think we're still we're gonna be able to hold it. And I don't think there's they're not too my my allies are not gonna be too dumb to challenge 10. That'd be fine. If they're able to break us in a race though, then we definitely be in trouble. We are two wheels down. And we have fifty percent HP currently. So I'm descending I guess a demon, these fudges and pandas. And I've already done my part. Now I feel very strong against ten. Don't have much backline damage, that's true. I have spiders, which aren't gonna be so bad against this next round. Uh, let's use up all of our gold for Pierce. Oops. Wasn't able to do so, but it's okay. Throw in a ballista. Send 300. I don't think they can live through our send. I was able to check it, but for sure, it's more than big enough to break through them.
Now this is a problem because they will be sending They'll be sending on uh, 11 Gonna be able to break them and they definitely upgrade. Okay, still leaking decently enough now. I'm cooking. Might be that they're not gonna lose more than two wheels here. I'm gonna allow them to keep going for lumber. I'm gonna build against <coughs> 11. They could have gone for more lumber after they sent on 9, knowing that they considered not sending on 10. If we win the arena, I'm gonna go for one more Tempest. I think it's most essential that I hold for my team. I don't think they've used up all of their lumber to upgrade King here. They are most likely gonna go 11. And if we leak on 11, we might have to go full king. And then we are going to send on 15 instead. We're here to break us though, given our value. But I don't think yellow is particularly strong for the next one. They're winning arena. Like there are two peers for 13 as well. We didn't win this unfortunately, and so I'm just gonna go for more bomber. Okay. Yeah, they may be. Yeah, I think they're strong for 13. They send here, we're gonna go 14 instead. Research complete. It has begun. This is not good. Not good. I myself is not strong enough to hold against 13 and we two are will, will be sending on 13 they have they're not stronger value wise don't have a slow aura as well which is very bad it already has gotten to a point where this has proven to be a bad placement yeah, everyone should definitely try to cheer 
done. Still need more tanks for the next run as well. If I get, I'd be very lucky if I get exax. That would be very strong to get. Sacks. I'm gonna spam the hell out of them. I will have 11k value. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough against their probably 15k send. Strategically place these guys here and here. Job done. Job done. I am prepared. My brothers. Job done. Upgrade. Sky Dragons for this guy. Hopefully two of us will be able to hold 12k. I don't think that's big enough to break us. Hopefully. Again, I apologize for the lags here. Yet. Thirty eight alive, I'm clearing. I need someone else to clear with me. They're all leaking. I need presence for royal, I guess. Dark would have been better. Best there anyway. Their best, but it's fine. GG well played. And I hope you guys enjoyed this still, despite the lags, and learned something from this. I'll see you again again next time.